This is a mid to late 19th century Chinese export or China trade, if you will, camphorwood writing slope. And it was a very popular design that was produced throughout most of the 19th century in uh, the, uh, the workshops of uh, Carpenter Square in Canton and the other ports um, around the area that the Chinese cabinet makers worked in. The design is very similar to an early English writing slope um, that uh, occasionally, if you're lucky enough, you find. But it's a little bit bigger, a little bit chunkier. So we can see the nice rounded shape to the side here, and that's for the roll top, uh, which encloses the desk tidy area to the top. So to open that, we'll go to this handle here and pull out the drawer, and that will pull back the roll top in pulling the drawer out. And while we're here at the drawer, you can see the handle, that's a dead giveaway, but it's a piece of Chinese export. Other signs as well, of course, the camphor wood used, etc., etc. So pulling that out, hopefully you can see, takes the roll top back. We can then pull forward the rest of the writing slope, so we've got our writing area. Put our fingers into these little thumb holes here and lift up this jack in the box. Now on either side of this jack in the box, let's turn it around and see if you can see, you've got a little sprung wedge and that, when you lift it up, locks the jack in the box up into position and then to close it you've got to push the wedges in oh it won't work if the drawers open and drop it back down again so it's quite a neat little design really you've got all that you need here you've got two drawers you've got a little pen tray which tips up just like many english uh, writing slopes, spaces to put your ink wells, a little desk tidy area there, pigeon holes, more spaces at the top here to put uh, whatever you will, and a little ruler. It's quite common for Chinese export slopes like this one to have a space for a round ruler to fit in. So, um, other points. Well, nice brass edging all the way around. Again, that's fairly typical of the design. Um, the interior of the writing surface has got an ebony veneer to it and also we've got a little bit of inlaid ebony decoration here and also to the drawer front. So, please drop that first, push the drawer shut and the roll top comes over and the roll top will extend all the way over this area of the rising slope, the edge of the rising slope, and in doing so, we'll lock it in place. And then once this drawer is locked, you can't get in and everything is nice and safe. So, uh, it's a camphor wood, Chinese export, China trade writing slope, mid to late 19th century. Um, the earlier ones, it, to early 19th century ones you find, the quality tends to be a little bit finer. Um, I wouldn't say that this is bad quality, but the earlier ones, they're just a step above and you can really notice it in the fineness of the cabinet making. Nice colour, very practical uh, writing box and a design which is very, very popular.